Bob Narendra, I believe you're online. Are you able to uh, say a few words? Sure. I'm, uh, I'm very happy to. One moment. The year 1954, it was a very momentous one in my life and in the life of Dan Kocha. He was born that year. And I came to this country from India to be a graduate student at Harvard University. So we have been to, in this, at least in this, this country for the same length of time. And the gods had willed that our paths should cross. However, that happened 20 years later, after he had come to Yale as an undergraduate. And I came to Yale from Harvard as a professor after leaving Harvard as an assistant professor. Dan was a sophomore. We met, that uh, we met, and he was a young boy with a ponytail. He walks into my office and to discuss my course on control theory. I liked him. Immediately, I was impressed by him, and it was evident that he also approved of me. It was the beginning of an association that would last almost 50 years. Dan was planning to be an English major, and I saw all his quotations, so typical of Dan. <laughs> uh, changed his mind at the end of my course, and he decided to major in engineering instead. By this time, I had about 20 or so doctoral students at both Harvard and Yale, and many of whom were truly outstanding. But at the end of that semester, I decided that I had an exceptional undergraduate in them. If students learn from teachers, it is equally true that teachers also learn from students. Since Dan and I have spent thousands of hours talking about discussing problems, I can spend many, many hours talking about him. I mean, there are hundreds of thousands of stories. You have had, I don't know how many boxes of wine we have consumed. But we do not have the time. I shall merely relate a few incidents about him. In, six, in 61 years as a professor, I have written, I don't know how many papers, but I have written only one paper with an undergraduate as a co-author, and that was Dan Kodichek. And I'm also happy to say that he was the first author. When Dan was a senior, I offered him a graduate fellowship to work with me as a graduate student. He turned it down, saying that he would like to help migrant farmers. I was so proud of it. That's so important today that and he did it when he was a kid. But fortunately for me, after a year, he told me that he would accept my offer if it was still open. It was open, and he became my 22nd graduate student in 1980. The next three years saw intense collaboration. We spent a great deal of the time at my house working on his thesis, and my wife, Barbara, who was sitting right next to me, took care of us both. He gave a brilliant thesis, and I nominated him for the highest award at Yale, the Bechtel Prize, which he won. Now, in his, in his acknowledgments for his doctoral thesis, he says, it was his good fortune to have me as his teacher, and that I have been a guru, a friend, and near to a second father. Today, at the age of 89, I can honestly say that I was extremely fortunate in having Dan as a student, and I could not love him more if he were my son. I am extremely proud of what he has accomplished. Thank you. Thank you so much.